Visual servo control refers to the use of images to control the motion of a robot. The objective is to generate control commands that minimize the difference between the current and goal images or their representations. The simplicity of visual servoing makes it an attractive option for tasks dealing with vision-based control for robots in many real-world applications. In this work, we present a deep model predictive visual servoing framework that can achieve precise alignments with optimal trajectories and can generalize to novel environments. Our framework consists of a deep network for optical flow predictions, which are used along with a predictive model to forecast future optical flow. We propose a novel unsupervised deep model predictive control pipeline for visual servoing using optical flow as an intermediate representation in six degrees of freedom. We learn the control actions in an unsupervised fashion as the LSTM decoder strives to predict future controls over a time horizon such that the optical flow occurred is a consequence of these predictions matches the desired flow. The desired flow between the current and the desired image is computed either through a supervised network, FlowNet, or an unsupervised network, DDFlow. We evaluated our deep model predictive control pipeline on a visual servoing benchmark consisting of nine scenes selected from Gibson environments loaded in Facebook Habitat Simulator. We test our controller on these following photorealistic benchmark environments. We show our results for six degree of freedom visual servoing and navigation in these scenes. We will now explain our deep model predictive controller pipeline. The agent in the environment takes its current RGB sensor observation, previous observation, and the goal image as input. These images are passed through a flow encoder network that predicts the flow between the current observation and the previous observation, and the current observation and the goal image respectively in order to obtain the desired optical flow. We use FlowNet 2.0 and DDFlow as our flow encoders. For the online control optimization, we use an LSTM as our recurrent network that takes in the previous control command and predicts an optimal sequence of current control commands. These predicted linear and angular velocities along with depth from the optical flow are fed into the kinetic model, which is the interaction matrix in our case. The kinetic model predicts a set of intermediate flows which are summed to get the final flow prediction. We finally optimize using the difference in target flow coming from the flow network and the flow generated using the predictive kinematic model using the flow loss, which is backpropagated through the online control optimization module. We now demonstrate comparative results on the benchmark scenes. We compare our approach of MPC plus LSTM with the baselines of CEM plus R predictive model and also NN with R predictive model. We also compare our results with DFVS, which is the current state of the art in visual servoing. The drone is able to correctly navigate to the desired location in this scene that includes two identical beds in the room. We plot the evolution of photometric error for comparing these approaches. It can be seen from the results that all the variants of our approach converge to the desired pose. While the neural network's photometric error initially decreases very quickly, it gets stuck into the local minima. Whereas the CEM variant takes time to converge since CEM is a sampling-based approach. DFVS, on the other hand, requires a long time in order to reach the goal. Our LSTM variant approach converges fastest in comparison to the others. Here again, all our variants are able to navigate to the goal image correctly in cluttered scenes as well. The bar graphs showcase how our method strikes the most optimum balance between the number of iterations and the trajectory length. We substitute the flow encoder in our pipeline with an unsupervised flow network. As it can be seen in the results, our controller is easily able to converge even when the flow is unsupervised, resulting in our entire deep model predictive control pipeline being completely unsupervised. We show some more results for our completely unsupervised pipeline. Thank you.